What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Headass Garage. In today's video, we're gonna be installing a Burke High Flow Cat onto my S2000 because the mesh inside of my cat right now is detached and rattling around. So it makes lots of very loud, okay, very loud noise and we'll be replacing it with this right here. It's a nice looking piece, nice welds. It's got a Magna Flow core inside of it and it's just a heck of a lot smaller so it should flow a heck of a lot better. I really like the way the welds look on this thing. They did a fantastic job. Burke actually says that it flows 87% compared to a test pipe which would basically be just catless. That's compared to 27% compared to the OEM cat so it's flowing a heck of a lot more. That's what almost 60% more. Um, so should be flowing a lot better. We're thinking it'll have a change in the exhaust tone, but we aren't entirely sure. We'll go ahead and get some nice exhaust clips for y'all to show the difference in sound if there is any. So without any further ado, there's nothing to it but to do it. Let's get started. The car is warm, so don't get mad at me, okay? <laughs> So on the back of the cat, there will be three 15 millimeter bolts. It's as simple as unbolting and rebolting. However, don't be afraid to use a pretty liberal amount of WD-40 because these things are not fun to get off and I do not have any WD-40, which is making this a little tougher. But nonetheless, those three on the back, and then there will be, sorry about that angle, but there will be three more right up there on the front of the cat and then it should come out. That being said, there is the O2 sensor on the opposite side just right there. We'll need to get that out as well, which is not going to be fun or easy. Complaining isn't going to get us anywhere, so we'll just keep working. And typical of any project that you have, wouldn't be complete with just one trip to the store, so we're on our way to O'Reilly's. Odds are this won't be our last trip to the uh, auto parts store either, so yay! Hello, O'Reilly's. They know us too well. All too well. All right, so where we're at now, we got the original cat out. There is a small issue though. O2 sensors are not supposed to look like that. Yep. All nice and smashed and bent. So that needs to go. All right, just like I said earlier, no job can be done in simply one take to the store. So we're heading back to O'Reilly's to try to find an O2 sensor. However, I'm not hopeful that they'll have any. More than likely, I'll have to order it and have it come in. One of the problems with the S2000s and the cats and the mesh inside of them being coming detached is just like you saw, your O2 sensor gets pretty smashed up and then you have an incorrect reading. However, this. You hear that? Sounds good, huh? That is the mesh inside of it becoming entirely detached. So when I would start the car, you would hear that but really fast from all of the exhaust pulses and that is why my O2 sensor looks the way it does so I'm gonna have to go ahead and get one of those ordered and do something about this but yeah. go ahead toss the new one in and uh, wait till we get that new O2 sensor in. and before we do that we're gonna start this thing open header Oh, absolutely <laughs> uh, now probably won't run it for too long because the enrichment pattern would be all wrong since it doesn't have that downstream O2 sensor reading. Um, so we're just gonna start it, let it run, give it a little rev, um, but nothing excessive because we don't wanna damage the motor or do anything 
harmful to it don't want it to be dumping fuel into it when it doesn't need it so go ahead get that started up and you all will Let's hear it get it Now that that's happened, we are going to install this new test pipe and uh, go from there. Woo. Here's the stock pipe compared to the modified pipe. Wow. Yeah, you can see some of the mesh right there. Some of it. I don't know if it's gonna come up on the GoPro, but you can see that the mesh is moving around. Yeah. Makes sense why your sensor, uh, well, died. Yeah. Like we said, it should flow like a lot more. So that's why I'm thinking we should have some audio change. I um, think so. But we'll see once it's on there. I think it's gonna sound a tad throatier and up top it's gonna have a little more screech. So one more thing we forgot to mention is the weight of these two units. This one probably weighs close to 20 pounds. This one, if I had to guess, is seven. Even then. I feel like seven's a little heavy here. Try it for yourself, that thing's pretty stinking light. Yeah, I would say this is five to seven pounds. This one is and substantially different. Yeah, that feels like a dumbbell. Yeah, so <laughs> there's that. Out with the old, in with the new. We're gonna get this thing installed and you guys will hear the clip when it's installed soon. So we've got the new O2 sensor in and we've got it just barely tightened past snug. We got it nice and snug and then gave it Probably one more nice little ugga dugga. That being said, if you're particular about these things, the O2 sensor wires are a little twisted just because we connected the other side of it before we got this in. If you prefer for your wires to be straight, I would recommend getting the O2 sensor in before you get the clip in, but for me personally, I don't really care. It doesn't make any sort of performance difference, so we're gonna run it the way it is. Now it's just bolting up the two ends and we'll get it started so that you guys can hear the difference. All right, and that is the cat installed. Sorry that the view isn't the best, but what is the best is the way that cat looks in my car. It's all tightened down and ready to start. We'll get some nice exhaust clips for y'all so you can hear it. But that should be ready to go. If you wanted to do this job yourself, the only special tool you need is the O2 sensor socket, which you can get at any local auto parts store. And then you're gonna need a couple of sockets and a couple of uh, open-ended wrenches. And that's that's it, and some WD-40 if it hasn't been changed in a while, because those, uh, Cat bolts can be rather tight. Yeah, that's a way to put it. <laughs> About to be playing jump rope. <laughs> All right, here we got a cold start.
Yeah. behind a police officer. Yes.